Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Vactix, uh, but hey, I, I, we already tried this game, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We tried it with the music low. <laughs> Um, we did. I, I played the demo of this game. The game is coming out on the 22nd, and so I wanted to play the first, uh, the actual full version. Uh, key provided by Dev. Thank you very much, Dev. Appreciate you, bud. Let's, uh, let's give the full version of Vactix a, a go. Uh, I think there's, there's quite a bit more to explore in the full version. This is the Techno Paradise of Solitude City. I've seen this. I've seen, oh, you can, you can fast forward. You can fast forward the demise of the of human civilization with the space bar. Very good. Very high tech. Working together, we built the Vactix. Get in the robot, Shinji. I made that joke last time, didn't I? What joke? I hear them cry. Okay, we're going to fast forward that as well. So we've powered the mech up. We should test out the movement system. Click a tile. Okay, so we have to do the tutorial again because um, because this is a full version and it doesn't realize I've played the game before. Vactix in the area. Let's test out the movement system. Move to the marker. So we're going to move over there. And here's our first Vactic. A fighter Vactic has appeared. Scan the Vactic to learn what the, we are up against. Scanning will show the tiles that a Vactic can attack. Scan the Vactic. Click on the Vactic to scan it. So they can attack all of those zones. So we're we're gonna we're gonna move towards it. Is next to the mech. You are in a position for a strafe attack. Strafe attacks can trigger when the mech starts a move adjacent to a Vactic. Strafe attacks trigger automatically depending on the mech's movement. All right. So here we go. So we have new uh, conveyance. This uh, this is quite nice. I appreciate this. This lets us know basically if I click on that zone or move to that zone, it will attack. My concern with that immediately is when we have a lot of enemies on the field, are, am I going to know which enemy I will be attacking when I do that? Solitude City is always changing shape and dis no district looks the same for long. All right. Don't worry. I know how to play this game. I know how to play this game. Okay, we're, we're going to get shot on the, our second turn. So the, the one thing I've never really understood is, um, do these guys shoot regardless of how we move? Like, if, if I move, like, are they ready to, to attack us? Also, wh what happened to our conveyance? I should be able to attack this guy here. Uh, was that only for the t sake of the tutorial? Maybe that uh, con that's gone now. Um, that's actually totally fine. I don't think I need that necessarily because like I say when the field gets pretty crowded It's it's not gonna do me much good So a Vactic is straight ahead of a mech you're in position for a charge attack Don't worry. I know I know all about charge attacks. So again, we have those little swords I'm Wondering about that. I am wondering about that so this guy's got the exclamation mark. Does that mean they're going to attack this zone no matter what? Does that mean that if I was able to push uh, another Vactic in the way, they would take the damage instead? Stop being annoying. S stop it. <laughs> All right. Remember, we we uh, lose energy every time we move. This game is a is very much like you you gotta act pretty quickly. You got to clear the, the board pretty quickly to um, stave off energy loss. Fully recharged. Begin salvage. Salvaging Citizens Park. So we can pick between freeze or dash. I like dash. Dash is like an extra attack, basically. Um, we can only take it on the middle one. So um, I did mention this in my concerns or, or in my, my let's try of the demo is there's a the game is pretty heavy on meta progression. You're basically not going to um, be able to unlock your full robot until you've died maybe a couple of times, which is going to be a bummer for some. Uh, other people will not be bothered by that at all. That's that's fine. That just kind of adds replayability, right? Um, I I'm not a huge fan of meta progression, but uh, I've already done beaten that drum quite a lot. But. Um, I'm, I'm mentioning it for the sake of posterity. Let's say that. So we got these enemies right away. These enemies were 
present uh, fairly late in the game. What are these? Did we already take some damage? Special tiles, drains mech tile tech when activated. Interesting. So I'm assuming those guys need, so they need a moment to re recharge. Do, are these guys gonna charge anyway? Yes, okay. So I think maybe I understand a bit better how movement works for some of these guys. They, they, it's a bit more clear. It would be cool to if you could use the 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 fire of other like the attacks of other Vactics to hurt the other Vactics like other Vactics on the field. Um, that'd be really cool. Uh, I'd really like super appreciate it. So if we move here, we get a we get one free like attack something something we're allowed to take one hit for free, which is nice because it means you can position yourself. Now if I move here, does that mean we're gonna get attacked by that range dude? Yes, it is has been damaged by an attack. So I guess I kind of wish, um, does that mean that they're spent? This guy's already gonna attack. So I guess if they end, if we end our turn, like if something moves into field, it, it'll be ready to attack on the next turn. That means it's gonna attack no matter what. So here's the issue, right? If I move here, you know, in theory, this guy, doesn't have that the ability to shoot me however it's already going to shoot and so even though it's range it, 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 it's threat zone it's over here it's not directly adjacent even if I move right here where it's not directly adjacent I'm still going to get hit let me confirm this oh I guess we we charged it so never mind <laughs> never mind <laughs> Sometimes you think you're big brain, but actually you are actually small brain, though. Actually. Sometimes you think you're, you're good head, but bad head, in fact. So, if I was to move here, this guy would charge me, yes? But he would charge me onto a field that would maybe drain us? Am I right about that? Oh, he, he has chosen, opted instead not to go onto that, onto that, that tile. Interesting. So tile, uh, dash is nice because if you can jump over a t attack, a uh, Vactic, then um, you will get to, you, you'll get a free attack. And if you kill two Vactics on the same turn, then you gain a little bit of your energy back. Not a lot, but enough to make a difference. So we can actually get a double kill here. Boom, boom. That'll give us a little bit of our energy back, 10%. It's not bad. I appreciate that the game, the, the, the tutorial here is very hands-off. It uh, lets us know about something when it is relevant to our situation, but not otherwise. So that that's nice. It, uh, it means that, you know, you don't have to like, oh, you have to move here. I have to convey to you and explain to you exactly how to play this game. Um, so we could do, um, what is this, arrows, further, faster, combo recharge. Combo recharge dash cooldown is restored by one after a combo. Install target chest. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like, uh, I like doubling down on, on, uh, combos. So, um... These are the Vactics we have here. These are, there's some new Vactics here that I haven't seen before. Some fairly spooky ones, maybe. Let's, uh, let's try this one. We also have um, probably, do we have medals yet? Push arms. Three salvage available. So we don't have like those extra challenges going on just yet. So I guess you know, here's here's my desire for a game like this. As I, um, you know, like it really is a it, it is up to personal opinion. But I would like to see maybe more um, weight pushed towards like getting your first win. Like just make the first couple of games really easy, because then the meta progression isn't gonna feel so like one sided. I haven't I haven't died yet. To be fair, so I don't know necessarily. Maybe maybe that's already been done. But my experience last time was, or at least with the demo, was like you you were working with a third of the capabilities of your robot, 
And so you're doomed for failure. You were only going to have like one ability um, for that playthrough. And you, you just had to kind of work with that. So what are these guys? Action cooldown can only move this turn. Fires grenades. Oh, right. I forgot about the grenades. Okay. Um, we could move like here. We'll only take one attack. And then these guys are going to shoot grenades on the next. Oh, this guy's going to. Uh, oh, that sucks. I was hoping if I could move like here, then that would make allow me to kill this guy and this guy, and that that would have given me a bit of my energy back. But we can't, as I as I discovered. Oh, that was nice. We we got a free kill there. As I discovered, um, you can't. It's never worth taking a hit in order to make a combo happen. It's just not. Um, you take all. Oh, I moved into range. Oh, that sucks. Uh, you take more damage from uh, from taking a hit than you gain back. I probably did not explain myself well there, but that's that's how it goes. So this is really bad. I'm I'm probably gonna die here. I didn't die. I did not die. We have to get rid of that guy. So we didn't die, but I didn't gain much of my energy back. Certainly playing well will ensure that we get farther for sure. Uh, I'd really like to try and get as much energy back as possible. I mean, that makes sense, right? Um, I'm trying to see if maybe we could get something nice here. I don't think we can. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we can. If we go here, we'll take a hit. That's fine. Oh, I guess they get to move as well. Okay. Uh, that ruined everything, actually. <laughs> um, real, real bummer. Um, so I'm going to move here. And then I'll kill one more. And that'll give us a little bit of energy back. Not a lot. Um, this sucks because I'm pretty sure there's nothing we can do here. I'm pretty sure there's nothing we can do here. Because if I move here, we're going to get shot by this guy. And that's going to do 25 damage. And these guys, these these uh, are going to do 25 damage as well. So that is that is game over there. Shucks. All right. Well, uh, that's okay. We're going to get some more robot parts so that we can do a little bit better. Uh, all right, I, I have looked at the high score. You can now equip two types of something. Ready for battle. Complete full mech training program. Through the park. Complete one district in a campaign run. Citizens Park. So I guess instead of focusing on victory, we focus on like small milestones. Reach the end of a UBIS housing district in a campaign. That I don't know if that works towards our progress. We have scavenged some tech from the previous mech. The technicians will rebuild the mech. We can then continue the fight to save the city. Select the tech, then select the install position. Press launch. Okay, well, we get we get dash. Um, but now we can um, do put dash on our, on our legs. In included uh, tech mod further. So this will let us dodge farther or dash farther. Which will hopefully or possibly let us kill more units at once. I don't know if dashing across two um, units will work the same, but I have to assume it will. Destroy all tactics. Um, we're gonna we're gonna kill this guy right away. I don't want to have to deal with him. So now, if I do a dash, I can dash across that guy, and then I can do another kill, and that'll. Give me a little bit of, you know, the 1% the, the of damage of energy that I had taken there. Like I said last time, it, it feels it feels really good to be at 100% in this game. Um, all right, so we're going to go here, and that'll let us kill this melee dude and that guy. And look at that, we, we already have all of our energy back. I don't know. I, I still don't know if there's a wait. Is there a way to wait? I feel like I the dev maybe told me how to wait or maybe and I and I 
Uh, still, and I still don't know. <laughs> Isn't that great when you when someone tells you how to do a weight and and you still don't know because you forgot? <laughs> it was a couple weeks ago now. See. Um. All right. Well, I don't like any of this. Basically. Okay. Right, let's kill one of these range dudes. Um, we could move mosey on over down there, except that's not going to really work for me. I'll just like move around so I can, I can get, I can kill this dude. That's going to waste a lot of energy. It just occurred to me. Oh yeah, that kills the tree. Oh, that's interesting. So now I can't move up because then I will be in threat range. So this is this is a problem. We'll just do it normally. I took a lot of damage there just from movement. Just moving can causes you damage, which really like adds to the threat level in this game. Like you cannot really take time or space to 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 think about things. You just have to keep attacking beyond Dash range increased by two tiles. That would cover the entire map, actually. Dash, another dash, faster, extra cool. Let's have a second dash. I, I like the dash. Having more dashes is good for business. Good for your health. Uh, deals 10% damage, so we have fires there. Drains mech tech when activated. Those are energy sappers. Deals 10% damage when activated. If we take care of this one, I'm pretty sure it means it won't come back. In the next one. I don't know. I don't really know how it works. Like the, the levels like seem to get stacking challenges over time. Our scans show that no, the AI has enabled the no friendly fire escalation protocol in this district. Right. So they can't do friendly fire. Okay. That's fine. We, we weren't really relying on that anyway. Look at this nice kill we get here, except they got to move first. That really continues to suck for me. Um, I'm going to take a damage there, but I need to, I need it to do something. We'll get, we'll get a little bit of it back. We'll kill that guy and then we'll kill that guy. So we took a little bit of damage there. That sucks. I wish, uh, I kind of wish you could like, maybe there's a perk you could get that would let, let you take the first turn. Because it's hard to like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this board and I'm going to strategize around this board. Except as soon as I place my dude, the board completely changes. <laughs> um, so let's see. Can we do some fun stuff here? I don't think so. We could try. We could jump over that guy and then jump over here. And then we can we we can move over here and then get so we got like two kills in that turn. It wasn't great though. We used a lot of resources to make that happen. This guy didn't move, so he's gonna continue to be a problem. Can't move here because then we're in threat range. Sometimes you cannot um, get those combos. It's just not doable. Did it, did they get to, no, they don't get to fire. Right, I forgot, dash, dash doesn't take a turn. It's a free action. All right, no friendly fire still. We're on the third of the stage of this. Um, oh, I don't like any of this. Yeah, none of that is okay. So I'm gonna go here where I think nothing is in zone. Control towers, you've detected something. It might be one of the control towers. Control towers don't move. They affect the mech's ability to destroy other Vactics. Be sure to scan control towers to see what where they have influence. We don't need to uh, destroy them to clear the area. They shut down if all Vactics are destroyed. Oh, where are these destroy towers? Oh, I see, right there. Pulls in Vactics in the mech using grappling hooks. Interesting. Um, you know what? We could do something really fun here. We can jump over this guy and then get two kills here. 
So that's a, a bunch of energy we just got back. So can we kill this guy? He's going to take two hits. Two hits to kill, but that's okay. If I didn't have the dash there, what in the world would I have done? <laughs> Okay, that, that was all right. We, we recovered a little bit of health, so that was pretty good. Begin salvage. Faster Vactix aim, what is this? Dash can target tiles with Vactix. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, I'm kind of uh, interested in that. Can target tiles with Vactix and then engine would make it further. Does this mean we have to move further? Giving it to this one might give me a little bit more flexibility with that. So let's try that. But this first few turns, you like I, I've only ever seen like the, the couple of tech. So yeah, that one tile that we didn't do progresses and, and gets an extra challenge. So you probably want to take care of the ones that have that already are challenging, like have the one challenge, so that they don't become even more difficult. Drains mech tech, so what, what does this have? Um, Factics, no. Districts, escalations, no no friendly fire. Okay, that's fine. We can, we can deal with that. So we have these guys to contend with. No problem. These guys are actually kind of nice because that's going to allow us to, like, right here, you can see, we can um, jump over both these guys and take care of that. We could also dash back and then get an extra kill, and that's going to give us 15% power back. I would love to go and kill this guy, but then I'll be in threat range of that range dude. So I'm just going to come over here and get a um, free kill. I would love to, again, come back, but... See, so you end up in these situations, which is not necessarily good for business. I'm actually going to use both dashes to kill both these guys, and that'll give us our power back. The cooldown does work over, like, across multiple levels, so you do have to kind of worry about that. But, um, you know, I think I'd rather get get it done quickly and then uh, then worry about the cooldown on the next, on the, the next floor. Um, okay, so we can kill this guy without worrying too much. This guy's going to charge as soon as he can. Well, we're not in any immediate danger right now, which is actually really good. We can actually kind of bide our time um, to, to get our dash back. Unfortunately, now we are stuck. Now we are going to take some damage no matter what. So we may as well. But now, look at that. We get... Why can't I dash over there? Oh, there we go. There we go. So we can <laughs> look at this. Dash over there and then dash over there and then dash back. We got four kills. 20% power back. That was really, really nice. Aw, oh, he was clever and, and moved back so I couldn't get the uh, the kill. Make your, make your AI stupider, dev. All right. So this is the third floor. We're doing pretty well. We actually all have both of our uh, dashes right now. So we just need to pick a good spot where we won't get shot too much. Uh, I don't know where that would be, to be honest. I guess here would be okay. We'll just take the one hit. Ah, and we have this guy to worry about. Okay, so we should be able to jump over two guys. And then kill this third guy. Can I do an, a dash? I could, but it won't d amount to anything. Good to, you know, maybe good to, to have, like, keep one ability um, in your in your uh, chamber. That guy is, like, behind buildings. How am I going to kill him? Uh-oh. Oh, he grappled me back. Oh, interesting. Okay, um... 
No, there's no way to, to make something out of this. Also, he gets his shield back. That seems highly unfair. So, like, how are we going to do, do I, I'm going to have to dash across a building to destroy it? That's a little weird. I don't know. If I didn't, I guess I, I guess I'd have the dash, so I can't say if I didn't have the dash, what would I have done? But I did have the dash. So, okay, fair enough. I had the dash. Hit recharge. Dash cooldown restored by two when mech is damaged. I don't like that. I never like abilities that are like, they proc when you take damage. Never a fan of that. Skip recharge. Dash cooldown restored by five if a turn is skipped. How do you skip a turn? I would like to know how to do that. Dash cooldown is restored by one after a combo. Can we put that on this one? Let's do that. Maybe, actually, do we get the get it back? Because we may only be comboing. I don't know how that works. Because, like, if it's not on cooldown, are we going to get our cooldown back? I know that, I don't know how to explain that better than that. But, like, I'm hoping to use it to reduce the cooldown by getting combos. Does that, there's no way to explain this properly. Um, you have to think fourth dimensionally, I guess. More Vactics, I don't like that. More Vactics. Okay, well, I, our, our choices are limited. Let's take more Vactics. More Vactics. Destroy all Vactics. This is going to be a problem. We could spawn here. Fortunately, there is friendly fire. If there's more Vactics but no friendly fire, that would be a real problem. Okay, so... This is where we're going to go absolutely insane with some of the combos. Are we? Are we going to go insane? I don't know. We could jump here and then jump here. Will that kill that Vactic? It will. So that's, a, that's not bad. That's about as good as we can do right now. I'm worried because this guy's going to shoot a grenade. He's not going to shoot a grenade. Actually, we're totally fine. And we're even out of range. Excellent. All right, we're going to have to move back. But that's okay. We're going to... That, that guy's going to die. And we have our dash back. Which means we can jump over that guy, kill another guy, and then kill a third guy. So that's three kills. And we reduce. So did we reduce the combo? I think we did. I think that works. So basically, we the, the, what I was trying to get at is this, um, or maybe it was this. It's this dash that lets us dash like even farther. Um, I would like to use it to combo, right? That makes sense. And then, but also that's the that's the tech that um, reduces cooldown based on combos so my hope was that i could get a combo with that tech to reduce its own cooldown but i don't know if that cooldown reduces if it's not on cooldown if i'm using that tech to get the combo uh, anyway i don't know so i kind of like this spot right here i think i would only take one shot and uh, there's a lot of things about to shoot grenades. I'm hoping they will shoot the grenades here no matter what, right? We can get a nice combo off here, just a natural combo. And yeah, I'm, I'm actually counting on those grenades because they're going to help to wipe out a lot of stuff. And then we can do like, um, well, we could jump over here and get a kill. We could get a couple kills this way. I think this is fine. Uh, interesting you cannot wipe out grenades by jumping over them. But look how many look how many Vactics just got wiped out by friendly fire. That's really nice. Can we get anything here? No, not really. So let's just get a normal kill. We're at a hundred percent energy right now. Like that's absurd. Doing doing really well actually. So, um, if you didn't watch my 
let's try of this game uh, when it, in its demo form. The the inspirations or the influences of this game are pretty on its face obvious, but I wanted to go through them anyway. The the dev has been talking about them and and uh, they are they are pretty obvious, and I, I appreciate them that uh, you know we're we're taking um, bits and pieces from different games. Um, the one that is the most obvious is Hoplite. If you've played that one on uh, the uh, either Android or Apple phone, I don't know if it's on the Apple store. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I am a pretentious Android drone. Sorry about that. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but um, okay, this is none none of these zones are actually very good for us. The other one is obviously into the breach. I kind of wish you could spawn on the special tiles. Into the breach as a as a obvious um, influence, and I into the breach is one of my favorite tactic games of all time. I haven't beat it on hundred percent, and I would like to one day. I'd even like to do a series one day, but I don't think there would be much call for that. So that's what's holding me back from doing that. Teleports nearby Vactix to new locations. That sounds awful. I hate that. <laughs> Um, all right, let's, can we do a normal jump? We can, I'm wondering, no, the normal jump kind of sucks. Let's jump here and then let's do like another jump. And then, uh, let's do just a normal, no, this, well, if, if I, there's a way to find out who's going to attack. You want to find out. Turn order. There it is. R. Okay, so five, three, two. So this guy's gonna attack. This will. This guy will die. This guy will be last to attack. So we would take one hit if we moved here. It would be better if it was like two, three, because then he would wipe out. Um, we'd wipe out two Vactics with one go. We might get lucky if this guy teleports a lot of them out of the way, but we're gonna do this anyway. Oh, cool. We didn't actually kill any because they, they got teleported. Right. Makes sense. Okay, we're in a lot of trouble. Um, so, again, I don't know how to skip the turn. And that still isn't obvious to me. I would like that to be a bit more obvious. What was retro style on? Oh, God, that adds like a heavy chromatic, chromatic aberration. Fast anim uh, transition? Sure. Build animation vertical. Random. Bizarre. Um, controls. Cursor, activate engine. Cancel action, right uh, right button. Makes sense. Pause game. Skip turn. Space. I don't think that sk skipping would be a good idea right now, but I'd like to know. So we got, we got rid of that one dude there. We are 100% going to want our dashes pretty soon. Feel like just moving forward would be a good idea. And then we can get quite a lot of kills in the next turn. Two kills right away. We could get two kills here, but then I would take a damage from the grenade. I'll do it, but only for the pure novelty. Also, I got 20% back, so I, it was almost worth it. All right. So that was, that was okay. District cleared. So that, th that other district is going to become a level three now. Combo recharge. We could reduce the combo, the, the cooldown of both of them. We can make them both faster, but I feel like combo recharge is better. Because it, 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 you know, I'm already trying to get them combos. So this guy is a three now, so he's going to have more Vactics, I'm assuming. Ejects mech out in a random direction. Oh, those are, it has whirlpools. And then more Vactics recharge limits. Oh, I don't know if I like that. It doesn't even tell me what kind of... Weaker combos. Okay, never mind. <laughs> but I mean, then again, like I, I should t take care of it when it's already a problem because it, it's gonna only gonna get, become a worse problem later. So what are these? 
Uses a grappling hook to pull district distant mechs closer. Attacks mech from adjacent tiles. Okay, that's not too much of a problem. Hopefully that means that um, they do more damage to themselves than anything else. Like we can move like here. Pretty sure we're safe if we move there. So then we could do like a standard dash. And then a, like a double dash. A Mario Kart double dash here, except this guy's gonna be a problem. So I don't know if that's a good idea. We could do a double dash here. But then this guy's gonna be a problem. So I, I don't know. These whirlpools ejects mechs out in a random direction. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I have a lot of options here and none of them are very good. You know what, I'll do this because that's still three kills and then I'll just take my chances with the warp. There we go, that's fine. So this guy's about to grapply me. Grappling hook. Oh, uh, I didn't pay close enough attention. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we're okay. We're gonna get our dash back on the next turn. No, we're not. I thought we were gonna get our dash back on the next turn. Weird. Okay, well this is... No, never mind. This guy's gonna attack me. That was not okay. That was not okay. Um, we can do something like this. I would like to move back, but I, I need to take care of this guy because... He was about to attack me. Cool. I mean, we're not doing great for health, but honestly, I'm pretty content with like some of my combo uh, tactics. They're working out well. Uh, this the, the 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 game like I'm doing much better in the full game, and I'm also really enjoying just the simplistic tactics of this. It's it's actually a lot of fun. Um, so this seems like an okay position. I would love to have a, oh, there, perfect. Go there, and then go there, and then, uh, well, there's no real good place for us now. I wish there was a way to undo almost. There's actually not a good place for us to go. You know what would be really good is if we could skip our turn right now. Like just, just go here, just stay where we are. That, was, that would actually be the perfect place for us, but it seems like we have to move. Having to move is a problem. So I guess if I was going to pick our poison, I would go here. Uh, That was awful. That was a terrible decision. Please move. Oh, 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 ah, ah. Oh my God. That was... That was, that was a miserable. Oh my god. That was actually really fun. I, I appreciate it. Oh, we're dead. Uh, there's nothing we can do now. That sucks. Oh my god, that sucks. Yep. All right. Well, that's going to do it for Vactics. I actually really, uh, I'm really enjoying this game more than uh, on on the full version playthrough than the demo. Uh, the meta progression doesn't bother me as much because it really comes down to like, you know, just hardcore tactics um, when, it, when it comes to actually like playing the game and not as much reliant on the abilities. More b abilities are always gonna be better, um, but just getting away with the dashes is, is nice. So we got ourselves a shield. I actually don't remember the shield being a thing. We can now equip three types of tech. Also, just having more abilities would, you know, seem to be better. But then again, like, we put a lot of upgrades on just one ability, and it was enough to kind of carry us. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm off. You know, I, I generally feel this, like, creeping suspicion when I talk about meta progression that most people don't agree with me. Um, and uh, that I'm probably off base. I think the, the reason I'm always talking about it is because it 
it adds a certain amount of doubt for me as to whether or not what I'm doing or how I'm playing the game or how I'm like losing the game is up to me and not because of the arbitrary restrictions of not having enough upgrades. That's always it for me. Like, you know, that, and that's, a, it's a weird subjective thing because you can't really talk about it without it being bumping into this thing. Well, it's like, I like to play the game and get something out of that playthrough, regardless of how well I do. Uh, and I'm on the other fence side of the fence of like, I like to do as good as I can based on my own ability and not because I didn't have enough upgrades. So it's a weird thing to talk about and it's there's never going to be a, like a solid solution. My wish, uh, and I, I'm sorry, Dev, if you're watching, if you watch this far into it and uh, you, you know, you're, I know you're looking for criticism and this is not it because it is such a subjective topic. But my desire for almost all of these games is to have a little button in the settings that just says, give me all the upgrades. And then I can play the game as it's as I would deem it to be the the purest form because it's like you know what what does that game look like what does the game look like when you have all of the upgrades and it really is you are a hundred percent reliant on your ability to play the game if if the game's value is based purely on the progression of unlocking those upgrades then I would argue that that you are cheating the mechanics of your game a little bit there because uh, you know I don't want to have a necessarily a cheap dopamine hit from getting those upgrades. I want to get the dopamine hit from figuring out how to how to play properly, right? So just having it as an option, I think would always be kind of cool, um, a, a nice feature. I haven't seen anyone do it yet. You could be the first. Just have a little button, give me all the upgrades. And then I can, I can see what that full experience is. Um, but in any case, my, you know, Arguments about meta progression aside, my my impressions of Vactix are really positive. I think like it's it's the for me it's the next really fun casual tactics game. I think it really is as good as Hoplite. I think it do, borrows enough from Hoplite, but does enough of its own thing to be really fun and engaging and and a really interesting kind of like little puzzle game. It's also got a really slick style to it that I appreciate a lot. So Vactix, it was good enough, worth covering twice, and definitely worth checking out the full version uh, as when it comes out on the 22nd. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.